Now, the Moldavian police have also arrested former President Mamun Abdul Gayoum just hours after President Abdullah Yameen declared a state of emergency for 15 days as the battle between the government and the Supreme Court has intensified in the tiny island nation. The Gayoum, who is President Abdullah Yameen's half-brother and ruled the country for about 30 years until 2008, was arrested at his residence along with his son-in-law. Yameen has defied a Supreme Court ruling ordering the jailed opposition leaders to be released, including Gayoum's son Farish, who is an opposition lawmaker in the country. The former president of Maldives, Mohammed Nasheed, has issued a statement. He says, and I quote, President Yameen's announcement today, which declares a state of emergency, the banning of fundamental freedoms and the suspension of the Supreme Court is tantamount to a declaration of martial law in the Maldives. That this declaration is unconstitutional and illegal. No one in Maldives is required to nor should follow this unlawful order. The statement has also said that Nasheed continues to engage with international partners, which includes India, seeking the resolution to the ongoing crisis. He has also urged the Indian government to act swiftly. Now, the Indian Ministry of External Affairs was quick to issue a statement after the announcement from Mali. And here is what the statement said, and I quote, Prevailing political developments in Maldives and the resultant law and order situation is a matter of deep concern for the government of India. Now, Indian nationals are advised to defer all non-essential travels to Mali and other atolls until further notice.